Hello everyone, welcome to another Exchange 319 video. My name is Ed. In this video, I want to show you how to find all your certificates and the expiry dates and export that information to a CSV file. And many times, if you work with customers and you ask them, when is your certificate expire? Or they say to you, I think my certificates expire because I'm getting a error on OWA or um, I'm getting an error on exchange on the EAC. They can't tell you when it expired or when it's going to expire. Now, third party uh, applications could do this. Uh, Microsoft SCOM System Center Operations Manager has a management pack that can also check certificates. Uh, you can also check it with SolarWinds. Uh, eNow also has information about certificates that you can use. But I put together a PowerShell script, and what this does is it goes and retrieves all the information and gives it to you in a nice spreadsheet, and you can actually give the spreadsheet to uh, the person that purchases your certificates, might be the IT director, might be the IT manager, or there's somebody that is just dedicated to doing that. So let me explain to you what the script does. So that we have a function that goes and pulls all the information in this certificate location. Um, if you go look at the MMC snapping under certificates, and it goes and exports this to a path. Now the path I specified is uh, C installs with the CSV file name. Just take note that if you don't have the correct path here, it, it's going to give you an error and it's not gonna actually generate the port, even though it says that the report was generated successfully. You can run this uh, script from PowerShell ISE like I have here. You can save it as a PowerShell script, like a PS1 file, and you can run it. It is very quick, and I generally do this per um, machine instead of specifying a server, and it's actually very easy to do. So if I go and I run this, you'll see how quick it is. And then if you open up the CSV file and I expand everything, there it lists all my certificates with the dates when they are valid up until. So I just thought something that I could put together for you, give it to you in a nice spreadsheet, and you can use it uh, for whatever purpose you need to use it for. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and thank you very much for watching.